Okay, welcome to A Minute with Mark. Today we're going to talk about rotational order and what rotational orders are. If you like, look up any rule book, and here I've got the uh, NCAA rule book, uh, it talks about uh, rotation order, players, positions and rotations, it talks about in the front or back row the right side player must have at least part of one foot closer to the right sideline than the feet of the centre player in the corresponding whatever. Here, here's the deal. Six players are on court. These players have to be standing in a position relative to each other that is what's called the correct rotational order. If you're the right front, you need to be standing to the right of the middle front. If you're the left front, you need to be standing to the left. The same in the back row, left to the left, right to the right. If you're a back row player, you must stand behind your corresponding player in the front row. If you're right back, you must be behind right front. Middle back must be behind middle front, left back must be behind left front. That simple. Middle back doesn't have to be behind right front. Middle back doesn't have to be behind left front. They just have to be behind their corresponding player. And lastly, middle back must be between left back and right back. The same as middle front must be between left front and right front. That's rotational order. Make sure that when you serve or when you receive that your players are standing in the correct rotational position relative to each other. They may not look and stand like this, but as long as right front's in front of right back, Middle front's in front of middle back, left front's in front of left back, you're going to be in the right spot. That's rotational order. Get it right because the second referees love to call these in the matches. It shows you that they're watching what's going on. That's a minute with Mark.